G'day guys, Pete here from Ace Creative. Thank you so much for joining me. And once again, thank you for all your uh, comments and likes, and thank you to all my new subscribers. I do have a goal of getting up to 1,000, or getting 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. So if you like this content, uh, show your appreciation and hit that subscribe button. And if you've got a YouTube channel, let me know in the comments so I can go and check you out and, and give your content a, a watch and, and support your channel as well. One of the uh, photographers that I've been enjoying recently here on YouTube is a fellow called Tom, Tom Wallen. Tom, I hope I pronounced your surname correctly. He's based on the, the Cornish coast, I think that's how you say it, in Britain. In Britain. Uh, and he does a lot of black and white film photos. He does a lot on medium format. Um, and I love the coastline. I, his videos have uh, transcended me to another place of these moody, rugged coastlines with um, castles and lighthouses and moody, moody and he just captures it so um, brilliantly uh, and seems like a really nice guy. Tom, I, I hope I'm not sounding like I'm fanboying over you too much but I'll put a link to Tom's YouTube here because I really think if you guys like uh, landscape photography and black and white and film he really, I mean, I, was, I look forward to Tom's videos whenever he releases them. So that made me want to do something like that. Uh, quite a lot. Uh, on Just recently I went down to the Gold Coast as I do often to take some black and white photos on film. Uh, I took my Minolta and some Ilford, I can't remember what Ilford it was, what film it was, and got down there and realized my camera already had film in it, some color film. So I didn't take any black and white on film, but I still took a digital. I took my Fuji film uh, X-T1 and currently I've got a vintage uh, Pentax 35mm f3.5 on there which I'll do a review shortly. Uh, we've had, we, when I recorded this video we had a lot of storms in the southeast Queensland, a lot of flooding. Uh, so we had a, still had moody sky and I wanted to get moody pictures which I think I got and I, I loved it. So I uh, as these are running through you'll see some b-roll. I've done everything in, in black and white and monochrome because it just tickles my fancy. So I really hope you enjoy these monochrome images. They're all manually focused with this lens. Uh, all, I can't see anything because it's not turned on. Um, all manually focused. There's certainly not, they're not perfect photos by any stretch of the imagination. But I wanted to capture a mood and I wanted to capture a vibe. It was interesting as the morning progressed, it started off really moody. Uh, and as by the time I left, I went onto the other side of the spit where there's a trawler, uh, where there's a little marina and uh, the sun had come out. It was really quite nice and blue. And there was some fish and trawlers offloading the catch from the night before. And it was, it was beautiful. It was a lovely, lovely adventure. Um, I really want to do more black and white because I've bought quite a lot of black and white film. And I'm going to start self-developing that, which I, that'll be in a few videos time. So uh, hopefully you guys Hopefully they turn out and um, hopefully you guys enjoy those videos. So it's very, very hard to get into the frame of mind of black and white. I met a fellow the other day who was a filmmaker and he was talking about black, black and white. And he said, um, the, the, the black and white, your eye goes straight to exactly where you want it to go, which I think has a lot of merit compared to color when there's different elements. And it was good. And none of these photos that you're seeing are edited. And this is a, a no edit challenge, a monochrome challenge. I shot them all and just using the monochrome um, pre-built preset on the Fujifilm X-T1. So now I haven't done any retouching at all. That's why the photos look uncut and unpolished because that's exactly what they are. Just, um, uh. so if you've gotten this far guys, I really appreciate it. It means so much to me. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave your comments below on what your favorite image was. If you've got any tips, if you shoot black and white or monochrome, uh, let me know so I can go and check out your channel or your Insta or whatever the case may be. Thanks for joining me, guys. Love God, love others, and take time to listen.